Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your guy Coldfire and we're going to be reacting to the second track off of the Connie Francis album called Connie and Clyde Hits of the 30s. And this one is called You Oughta Be in Pictures. Because, you know, in the 30s everybody always wanted to be in the pictures and that's how Hollywood got its start was silent screen and then no talking pictures and then it gradually just moved up the ladder and now we get crap. <laughs> but anyways, let's give a listen to and see what she does with this one. more cool you're smoother than Sinatra much more elegant than Grant oh your eyes could start a fire that even Paul Newman can't you're oh, so oh. far ahead of Burton who's first on the list of men you make much better love to me than my tail with a Miss Loren uh -huh. you Without a soft guitar, you ought to be in pictures. My They end so quickly. But, you know, that was the 30s. Their music, you know, was like maybe two minutes long. Like the 50s and 60s, most of theirs barely got up to three minutes long, if they were lucky. Now, today, we have songs that last ten minutes long. So... It kind of makes you want to crave more of what she was talking about because she was talking about, you know, Sinatra and Cary Grant and all these other guys and everything. And she was comparing the guy that she was with as in he had more quality than all those other ones that he ought to be in pictures too. And said something about Elvis. I like how she keeps, because she keeps it kind of like current to the date that she was in doing this production of this album. She adds references from that period, but she takes it back to the 30s, so to speak, if that makes any sense. But yes, when it started out, it sounded like... Um, something you hear on a, a radio and so I had to turn my volume on my headset up because I'm like maybe I just don't have my volume up and all of a sudden boom here come her powerful voice and she just started singing away in that only way that Connie can do and then it went a little bit back to the radio thing and then she finished it up but 
I like how she does the little bit at the end because that was what that was they were famous for in the 30s was that like Betty Boop like boop boop be doo you know but I really enjoy this album I really do as you can see I recently purchased um, one two three Connie Francis albums that I found at a record store I'm trying to build my wall here um, I'm probably going to have to turn my uh, computer kind of catty corner because it's such a small room because um, I have a whole nother wall over here but I want to expand all my records to everyone that I'm reacting to and I think I got pretty much everyone on there that I'm reacting to currently that I know of with the exception of few um, artists that don't have a record out yet so or I can't find but anyways that was the fabulous Connie Francis singing you ought to be in pictures from her album the third track and this is from the Connie and Clyde hits hit songs of the 30s I hope that you guys enjoyed that beautiful rendition and I don't think anybody can touch the 30s like she can but I hope you enjoyed the reaction let me know what you think about this album so far I hope that you enjoyed it and I will get on to the next one love you guys mm, see you later okay.